Hello my friends, welcome once again to my show and yes, the very first news right now are all related to the Gaither Vocal Band Spring Tour celebrated in Pasadena, Texas. What a tremendous experience I had with the vocal band as I enjoyed the full concert and I just achieved a lot of experiences from the members of the vocal band. Just meeting those members from the vocal band made me so happy and so comfortable. One thing I didn't achieve at the moment, I wanted to talk to Bill. I wanted to make three questions to him. That couldn't happen. For some reasons, when I, when I spoke to, to Kevin Williams, he just said, well, Bill is an 87-year-old man and he needs to get rest after every concert and every presentation they make and Bill is not a crowded person so I understood that and I just thank the Lord for the opportunity to be there with the vocal band my experience was more than satisfaction I first entered I, I was in the very you know when I arrived to Pasadena I had to drive one hour and 30 minutes the traffic was really bad at the moment but when I arrived to Pasadena the first Baptist Church in there there were a lot of people a lot of good friends a lot of people that I would call them the very younger generation in the times when Bill Gaither started making the gospel the gospel reunions and the gospel homecomings when, when I was there, I just talked to a few people and, and they actually told me, well, are you part of the vocal band or are you part of the security stuff? Because I was kind of dressed up like, you know, people would assume that just by looking at me in that way. And um, it, was, it was really comfortable to see friends and talk about musical topics that only Gaither's fans actually know. And um, I just made the line and we started entering to the theater. I was looking all around just to see if the members of the vocal band coming along. Hi, my friends. Um, well, right now I'm here in the very first Baptist church in the city of Pasadena, Texas. At last, the day arrived in which I will see the Gaither vocal band live in a concert for the first time in my life. Here is going to be present Jen McDonald, uh, Lady Love Smith, Kevin Williams, of course. So this is going to be a great, great opportunity to talk to them by the grace of God. I hope this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful night. It was impressive when I entered to the, to the worship area in the church. Uh, I sat beside a bus driver as far as I remember, and he told me, well, I went to many Gaither uh, presentations, including the Alaskan homecoming. Well, that was a very good one. I remember they singing These Are Day, and David Phelps, without too much effort, made that wonderful performance that made him great. Well, after being sat in there, we just saw a few videos, and I have to recognize that I actually uh, got to know a few things that I didn't know. I didn't know that actually Jesse Dixon, uh, a wonderful and charismatic singer, he passed away a few years ago. Also Ben Spear, someone that I really loved the way that he actually directed many, many tunes and many uh, occasions with the Gaithers. I remembered once more Anthony Berger the, that wonderful pianist that the Gaither vocal then had and who was actually amazing on himself. Well, everything just started with Kevin Williams. He started the, he started a big show with the Gaither vocal band and he just came along with that instrumental remembering the old tunes, the old church tunes and everybody singing along with him. That was amazing. And Bill just came along when I saw that man, that wonderful person, that tremendous man of God. I just got so happy that you cannot even imagine how much I enjoyed that moment. When Bill entered 
and he would speak about how great that was to be in Texas once again, how good it is to be in Texas, how good the worshiping times in Texas are. And then he introduced Lady Love Song. Lady came along with that beautiful tune. And after, and after she performed, Jean McDonald came along and what a wonderful bass. I had the opportunity to talk to all of them. So after Kevin, then Bill entered, and then Lady Love Smith, and then Jean McDonald came to perform. And after that, the gate, their vocal band came along. When the, the gates were opened, I actually saw, <laughs> I actually saw uh, Reggie Smith. He was, he, you know, he's over the 50s and he, he, he looks like someone that is actually under 30 years old. He was coming into the stage very charismatic and accompanied by all the vocal band. Adam Crabb, uh, Wes, who is really amazing, and then Todd. What a wonderful time to listen to old tunes that actually made me cry because I was singing along with the Gators. And after a while they were performing, there was a, a stop time in which we would go out from the theater, from the worshiping side, into kind of share time with the artists. But I didn't know that. So I was sat in, in, the, in the room and then I decided to go out like for some reason, I just saw the vocal band going out and I said, well, I don't know where they would go, but I will try to find out. Uh, and, uh, you know, I went out from home like with the idea to meet those people and I just wanted to do it. I really did. And when I went out from the door, I look at my left and then Reggie Smith was coming into me. <laughs> And I just, I just remember saying, oh my God, Reggie Smith. And uh, Lady was coming along, was after him. And Lady said, give me your phone. I'm going to take the picture. Give me your phone. And I was like looking at Reggie and I said, you know how long I had to wait for this? 17 years to meet the actual vocal band, the Gaither vocal band face to face. And what a wonderful opportunity. I had a wonderful amazing moment with Reggie and Lady Love Smith. They are incredible. Lady, I love her. As I said, she's so charismatic, so lovely. She took pictures of us. Then she, she joined us and took pictures. And that was an incredible experience. Then when I ended up with Reggie, Wes Hampton was coming. And uh, this is what actually happened. I just saw him and I hug him. I, I say, Wes Hampton is incredible and Wes is so wonderful. Wes is an amazing person. Wes is so incredible. I will let you listen to uh, the, the part that, I, that he just was so kind of let me record this video. I was so excited and I would like you to look at this. Take a look at this. Hey guys, this is Wes Hampton. I cannot believe the Thomas McCook show tomorrow is going to be on the highest. This is a wonderful man, 18 years with the vocal band. I know everything about Wes Hampton. Oh Big man, Fouts. you're so kind. Yes, yeah, so kind. Thank, Thank you, brother. brother. Thank you. Bless you, brother. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So yes, after I said, well, Wes, you know, the show is going to be a lot better because I had the opportunity to meet you and he was so happy he was so glad and uh backstage you know that didn't appear in a video he asked me where where are you from what are you from and, and i said well i come from cuba i was born in this family we learned how to listen to all gospel music and uh, i wanted to be in front of the vocal band for 17 years. Wes has been actually with the vocal band for 18 years. 18 years, so one more, one year more than uh, than the actual time that I have been waiting to to see the vocal band. Um, Wes was so excited to meet someone like me and I have to say it in that way because I was more than excited to meet him. 
that was wonderful to share with someone that holds so much history with the Gaither vocal band. Bill Gaither actually said once, you know, when you lose someone like David Phelps, you will need to find out someone that is actually worth to be in the place that David actually was. And Wes Hampton was that incredible person that we chose for that. And, you know, it really paid off. After talking to Wes, I was looking all around to try to find Bill, but I couldn't. And then Adam Crabb was on the other side and, and I just ran up to him and when I saw him, he, he is so funny. I said, hey, I love you so much. I love the way you sing and your voice reminds me of someone that I really like a lot too. And I said, well, Jason Crabb, that's your brother. And he said, oh, Jason Crabb, I haven't heard of him. And then we started to laugh all together. Um, he was surrounded by this wonderful group of people. He has a great voice. You would love to play one of his tunes. He's really, really amazing. He can just go from really lower levels into very, very high levels. He holds a very good technique, and which is hard, by the way. But I really loved him. We just talked a little bit and he was glad of me too. After talking to uh, Adam Crabb, I saw Kevin Williams. Kevin was on, on, on this side where he was actually giving promotions to all the material that he was selling out. And I just recorded this video just trying to talk to Kevin Williams live. I couldn't do that because after that he just had to move into the stage because the other section was about to begin. This is what I just actually recorded from that part on the meanwhile, try to reach Kevin Williams, someone I really appreciated and I really loved. Reach right out to Kevin, Kevin Williams. There he is. Probably the best guitar player in the history of the gospel music. So this is 50. Kevin is a little bit busy right now with his stuff, he's turned over with material and there is Tim McTom, one of the greatest bass singers in history of gospel music. After trying to get Kevin Williams, I saw Gene McDonald. And I have to say something. The very first Gaither video I ever saw in my life was inside of something really special that Bill Gaither did in the past. And that is called the Gaither, the Gaither Classic Homecoming. That Gaither Classic Homecoming has started with J.D. Summer, a wonderful, great bass singer. And if you ever to take a look to this Homecoming, you will see Gene McDonald someone that I actually consider one of the best bass singers in the history of the gospel music. This is the video that I actually took beside Gene McDonald and how humble and how pure the heart of this man is and how wonderful it was to meet him. This is the impression that I got from this wonderful man of God. Here with Dan McDonald, one of the greatest bass singers in the history of gospel music. <laughs> I cannot believe he was around those greats like J.J. Summer, Joe Jones. I love him so much. So great to see him for the first time in my life, and that's a blessing for God. Yeah, it's so good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. After talking to Gene McDonald, I just uh, went into Todd sort of. This man has such an amazing voice and I have to say Bill is 87 years old and I believe that he just got to choose those people that are actually gonna stand up for the Gaither vocal band. The Gaither vocal band is something that when it started, it started with the purpose to stand as long as possible. And God gave Bill Gaither the, the health 
and the opportunities to give the world such a wonderful gift. And I do believe that the actual buckle bend, that the corrugator buckle bend, has everything that it takes to display the power of the gospel music nowadays. Todd Sortles adds a very wonderful and remarkable thing to the Gator vocal band. This is amazing when I just saw him performing in live. I just loved him. I really did. And I took a wonderful picture beside this man. He was so open and he was so pure every time someone wanted to meet him. Every time that he talked to someone like Lady Love Smith and Reggie Smith, they are so amazing. They are so wonderful. Wes Hampton was laughing all the way around. Gene McDonald shared it with people, old friends. And if you if you ever if you ever take a dip, look at these people. You can realize that they are men of God. They, they are in the very top of the gospel music, which is a very big world. But they are so pure. They're so godly people that you get to love them. And I believe I have shared this information with many friends and many colleagues and many people from the past. And they just told me, well, you got a dream come true. That's amazing. Now I'm going to start looking forward to attend a David Phelps concert. Remember, that's my favorite singer. If I got so many emotions when I saw the Gaither vocal band the last May 11th, I cannot imagine how good it will be to see David Phelps face to face. The Gaither vocal band, a spring tour in Pasadena, Texas, just brought me so many important things in my life. Just listening to Matthew playing Hallelujah in the piano, that big instrumental that reminded me Anton Berger, the greatest pianist that the Gaither vocal band had, and I believe that probably the best pianist gospel music ever faced. So my friends, I just have to say, this was wonderful to be in Pasadena, Texas. I loved the Gaither vocal band, loved the ladies of math, Gene McDonald, when he was just singing, that whole theater just trembled like it was a big earthquake. And so many emotions. Many emotions that reminds me once again, if you ever have a dream, go for it. If you ever have a dream, it doesn't matter when it's going to happen. The matter of fact is that if you ever have a dream, if you ever project yourself into it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen eventually. Many friends, many people have told me the very same message. You had a dream in the past, and that became true 17 years later. So that's possible. God is good. And you know what? From now on, I'm going to start looking forward to be in front of the greatest of all times, David Phelps. I will try to seek him. I will try to do it. And my friends, subscribe to my channel. I would like to listen to the comments that you will have about all the impressions I got from the Gaither Vocal Band Sprint Tour in Pasadena, Texas. I would like you once again, my friends, to subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments. I would like to listen what you have to say about all the videos that we have been displaying in our show. I'm announcing that pretty soon I'm airing the very first World Success Awards only exclusively in the Thomas McCook Show. These awards are going to be given to all those that have contributed to the personal growth of human beings. Awards are going to be for those who have contributed to the music, arts, movie, theater, sciences, religion, speeches is going to be a very dimensional program it's, it's going, going to be a 45 minute show that you cannot miss pretty soon this saturday is going to be displayed the very first world success awards and i don't want it to miss any any part of this of course the gather vocal band is going to be included in these awards as they are my favorite 
and I would like you to subscribe to my channel to share the content. I don't want you to miss this show, the World Success Awards for the very first time with that name here in the Thomas McCook Show. I want you to leave us your comments. I would like to share more with you. So my friends, thank you once more for coming to my show. A lot more, a lot more is coming. A lot more is coming by the will of God. And I thank you so much for coming once again. Until the next time, I am Anibal Alfonso and I will wait you here in the Thomas MacBook Show. Oh, hey.